Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I am the Style Coach. Today's video is a follow on from my colour analysis that I did of myself <laughs> last week or a couple of weeks ago. I'm going to do my makeup this time knowing what colours work for me. This is so important. Over the years I create a collection of um, a huge amount of makeup because I love makeup, nearly went into makeup artistry. But anyway, um, I realised that I liked some colours more than others and it was only when I studied colour theory that I understood why that was, of course. So cool tones suit me better. So this makeup is going to be all using cool tone makeup. Let me know if you'd like to see what warm tone makeup looks like on me. Maybe I'll do that in, an, in another video. I'm reluctant to do it because I know it looks <laughs> terrible. But if you wanna see just for comparison, do let me know. Let me tie my hair back. My skin is prepped already. And just a little caveat, I'm not a makeup artist. If you're looking for techniques here, I've built up a few over the years. I've learned a little bit. I was cabin crew for eight years. You become something of an expert uh, when you're doing your makeup for those kind of conditions uh, where it just has to be perfect. Uh, you do learn a thing or two. And like I said, I nearly went into makeup artistry. I didn't, I'm not an MUA. So um, please don't come here expecting perfection when it comes to techniques. Uh, but if you are interested in the cool colors and how that looks on, on skin, uh, stay tuned. So I'm actually going out this evening, in which case I always tend to do a makeup look that is a little bit more intense. I've def definitely eased off on the intensity of the makeup that I wear as I get older. I used to go really heavy with the makeup. I think that was just, you know, a bit of experimentation, see what happens. And it was also the, the trend at the time, I suppose, when I was growing up. Uh, but now I definitely try to go a little bit lighter bit of mascara that seems to do the trick for me so that's what I'm about. So I am going to start with my eye primer. By the way I'm not sponsored by any of these brands. They're simply brands that I've tried and tested over the years and I like them. So this is Benefit Don't Stray Eye Primer. So I just put a couple of dabs on the lid and kind of under the brow and we get that all padded in. I know there's some people who will do their eyeshadows first before their foundation and vice versa. <laughs> There's probably a right way to do that, especially if you're doing like, you know, heavy glitter or something on the eye. I just got into the habit of doing my foundation, then my eyeshadows. It's always worked for me. That's what I do. So <laughs> maybe it's wrong, maybe it's right. I don't know. It's what works for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. For my foundation, I'm gonna go for MAC Studio Fix Fluid, which is in NW20, which is their cool, tone. So initially I'm just going to pump a little bit onto my fingertip, place it at strategic points of my face and I might go in with a little bit more. Let's just see how that goes in. And I'm going to use a blank canvas cosmetics brush in, in F20. It's a stippling brush. I don't stipple. I don't have the time to stipple. I just kind of get it done. <laughs> Like I said, this is not going to be about technique so much, but more about, do you see how well that blends into my skin though? And I've, by the way, you know, before I knew my colors, I, I tried NC20 as well, because I was just kind of like, oh, maybe I am warm, uh, you know, before I start doing color theory and color analysis and all of that and it looked so yellow on my skin, it was awful. Typical, the day I'm doing like my first makeup video, I've got a spot on my lip. But sure, we'll breeze over that and continue on. And to be honest, I could be using NW25 at this stage because it is the summer in Ireland and we have had a bit of sun and I do get a bit of color. So um, I could probably go even for a deeper shade that I am wearing, but, I think that's pretty good for now. Okay, so we've got a blank canvas here. The next thing I'm gonna do is, I always go in with a neutral shade across my eye, just again, to make it as a plain palette as possible. And this is where I go in with my MAC 227. Respect to all the MUAs, by the way. They do such great jobs and it is, it really is artistry. Like you're literally painting the face and it's a lot of skill. 
a lot of skill, you know, because you got the textures of the face, uh, you know, movement and they're working on different people. Everybody's faces are so unique and you can't do the same thing on everybody, of course. So it's a real talent. All right, so what I've done there is I've gone in with the Morphe palette or Morphe, I don't know what you call it. Um, and by the way, I noticed recently that they came out with an all cool palette and an all warm palette. Thank you for that, because I don't know how many makeup palettes I've bought where it's cool and warm mixed together and I only ended up using half the palette. Of course, why has nobody done this before? Maybe they have, I just didn't notice. But this is Power Multi Effects Palette and they're pretty much their cool tones in there. So this time I'm going in with a blank canvas brush in E01. It's kind of a fluffy brush. I'm going in with Wildflower in this palette and that's just gonna go into the crease. And I, I know this is highly pigmented, so we gotta be going easy or else we're gonna be in trouble. So I just go into the crease here and I always, I'm always careful that I don't go too far down uh, into the corner of my eye because my eyes are hooded. So uh, my eyes can start to look very heavy easily if I go down too low with the darker color. So I kind of just stay around the top and take it outwards. And that seems to work best for me. And that's about as dark as I wanna go there. And then I'm gonna get a blending brush, a nice fluffy brush from MAC. And I've had this so long that the number has worn off of it. Maybe somebody can let me know. It's gonna be two something something, two, I don't know. I used to know all these numbers. I was obsessed with buying all things makeup. And I'm gonna go in with an even deeper color into the very crease of it. And now I'm gonna get this deeply rooted color just up here in the corner. So it's going into this very deep, cool brown. Very important that it's cool. And again, go fairly light at the start. So you see how pigmented that is. I'm gonna blend that out so it's not gonna be so obvious. Let me get my other fluffy brush, which is a MAC 224. I'm going in a kind of circular motions, just kind of circle, circle, circle until it's all nice and blended out. I'm gonna go in with Rose Realm up here. This is where on these fluffy brushes, the pigment can fall off really easily, I find. So I'm just gonna tap that off and then go in onto the lid. And also because I've got hooded eyes, I like to keep the color on my lid fairly light um, most of the time because it just opens up my eye a little bit more. I think I'd like to get a little bit more depth into the eyes. Okay, this eyeshadow is so old, I'm not even sure what it is. I think it's espresso, but it's a, it's a cool brown and starting to look a little bit light and pink. So I wanna deepen that, blend that out. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of all that glitters from MAC onto the lid as well. This used to be one of my go-to shades when I was um, cabin crew, actually. We had very specific instructions about what makeup we could wear, what colors, not necessarily brands, but colors, definitely. Um, so this palette actually that I have here, which is made up of soft ochre, coquette, espresso, and all that glitters, I think pretty much what I used when I was cabin crew. A little bit less pink now. All right, I think, I think I need some definition on my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. And for this, I'm using Catrice, which I don't know if they have it internationally, but um, it's one of these brands that you find in Primark, real kind of low budget, um, brands, but they're vegan and cruelty free, which is good. I just start under the brow. And this is a cool brown, by the way, as well, of course. It's shade 035. I'm one of these people who kind of over plucked their eyebrows in the, like the late 90s, early 2000s, when it was just like cool to have like this tiny little strip of an eyebrow. Now we're like totally in the opposite direction and I need a lot of help. <laughs> to get the thickness back in my brow. Happy with those, gonna just brush them out again so there's no harsh lines at the side. I'm also going to set them with, oh, this is also Catrice, uh, brow mascara. Lovely. Now I need eyeliner, definitely. For this, I use my 206 angled brush from MAC and go in with another MAC palette. 
um, and this one up here in the corner. So it's not black, it's kind of like a really, really deep aubergine or something like that. I think it's called Unwind. I can't be sure about that because it's kind of at the back of the name, so it's all faded. But um, it pretty much is almost black. I'm almost tempted to a liquid liner here. I, I abandoned liquid liner a while ago because it was, um, again, I, you know, I used to be a bit heavy handed with my makeup back in the day and now I'm just much more into the softness of makeup but because I'm going out tonight and to a festival maybe I should be going for like bright pink eyeliner or something. I don't have anything like that. You know what though I do have a kind of a, a deep green sparkly one which could be fun and it's also cool color so that is okay. I think it's by Kat Von D. <laughs> Again the names are just like rubbed out on these. This is where the difficulty comes in with hooded eyes. Anybody else can relate? Just gonna try and keep it real close to the lash. And again, I'm not gonna take it down too low because my eyes can appear to drop then. So I'm gonna keep it up quite high. And once this dries, I'm gonna go in over it with an eyeshadow and that angled brush to just soften it up a little bit, but at least the intensity will be there. It's not the finished product, but that's where I'm gonna let it sit and dry for a second until I can get to putting the eyeshadow over it. Something else I wanted to try is something I literally just bought today and that is a contour stick by Sosu, uh, which is an Irish company, Suzanne Jackson's company. The good thing about this is it literally tells you if it's warm or cool. That's the name of it. It's warm or cool. <laughs> of course, I went for the cool tone of the contour stick. The only difficulty there is it's, you know, cool can come in many different skin tones, of course, um, and there's not a huge range, so it doesn't cater for a huge range of, of skin. So you might find yourself out of luck if you don't have the uh, skin tone within their range. Okay, here goes nothing. Haven't tried this before. I don't even have my sponge here to, okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna go in. Let's do it. Okay. All right. Very creamy, just glides on. I'm going in right under, ooh. I'm going in right under the jawline, not the jawline, the cheekbone, but I am gonna go in under the jawline just to give that definition here. And of course I'm gonna blend it out. What else will we do? We do down the nose. Let's go to town with the contour. All right, try and make my nose a little bit skinnier and maybe just up around the hairline as well. Up around here. Love that color. Definitely a cool color. When I saw it first of all, I was like a little bit um, wary of it. Uh, da, 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 da. So it's a great cool color for possibly a light to medium skin tone. If you have darker skin, I don't know if it's gonna be any good. There you go. I'm just gonna take my foundation brush again and blend it out. That brand Sosu is also vegan and cruelty free, which I like, I'm trying to do more of that. It's very subtle once you blend it out, but it's quite nice. Oh, I like that. Okay, so now I think my eyeliner has dried, so I'm gonna go over it now with that uh, color from MAC, the kind of deep aubergine that I was talking about, and kind of like buff it out and make it a little bit softer. Let's go. This is probably not the quickest video. If you're still watching, thanks. <laughs> Who watches YouTube on double time? <laughs> okay, I like that. So there's enough definition without it being harsh. How do you think the cool tone makeup is working out? Such a game changer once you know your undertone. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a highlighter into the corner of the eye. Usually I use a MAC pigment for this, but I don't have it on me at the moment. So I'm gonna go back to the Morph um, palette and use this one down here, which is called Flash Bloom. This just brings a little twinkle to the eye. The only thing about these ones are that they're quite chunky. The particles, if that's what you call them, are quite, um, yeah, they're quite big. So you really notice them. Whereas with the MAC, it just kind of blends in. It's like really fine dust, but we are going to a festival. So bring on the glitter. If I knew what I was wearing, I might go for like something really outrageous in my makeup, but I haven't got a clue, so I'm kind of keeping it neutral enough. 
a bit of fun. It's gonna catch the light as we're dancing. I'm gonna use another Irish brand sculpted by Amy Connolly Brighten Up Under Eye Liquid Concealer. There you go. And I'm using it in vanilla. And I gotta say, this shade is probably a touch light for me, but I only use it in very small doses, so it's not gonna have a huge impact. And I'm gonna drag that finger up towards the end of the eyebrow and then kind of blend that out. And it just cleans up that line of eyeshadow a little bit. And then get my clean ring fingers in under the eye. And just, I know some people use brushes here, but I have always found that the warmth of my hand just makes the concealer settle in a little bit better. And to make sure that my mascara doesn't fall into that later on um, and kind of, you ever get mascara on the bottom of your eye or something like that, I always use a setting powder, translucent powder for, uh, well, to combat this really. And this is Jane Erdell Amazing Matte Loose Finish Powder. And I mostly use this just under the eye, but I may do it across the face because it's nighttime and I just don't want the makeup moving. Now that that's set, I can go in with my mascara and I'm using Catrice Glamondol, whatever that means. And I go for black because black is a cool color. If you're warm undertones, you'll be going for, you might go for a deep brown or even a purple could look great. Uh, if you're if you're light and warm, you could definitely start to look a little bit heavy with the mascara and uh, look a little bit out of place. So go easy with it if it is black. I see a lot of people doing eyeshadow under their eyes. I tend not to. Again, it feels like my eyes get a little bit heavy looking and kind of tired looking when I do color under my eyes. So I just like to keep them as open as possible. I used to <laughs> live with an Australian girl, uh, Michelle, who's she was a, a makeup artist and she used to do my makeup sometimes. And uh, whenever I do mascara, I always think of her. She's like, you need more, I'm not gonna try to do the Australian accent. Uh, she's like, more mascara, more mascara. <laughs> it was always more mascara. Whenever I asked her, is my makeup okay? More mascara. Hi Michelle, if you're watching. I'll let that dry a little bit uh, before I go in with the second layer and more mascara. Uh, and now I wanna do blush. So for cool tone blush, you're going to want to be choosing uh, blue undertones and pinks in that. Here is my MAC. So it's kind of an ombre effect, pink into purple. Um, if you're warm undertones, you're gonna be wanting to choose peaches, apricots, golden tones to the, the, to the blush. I tend to go in quite heavy with this because it is a light color and I can always blend it out afterwards. So it kind of just, Lift it up. I love this tone on my skin. It's just so nice because it's cool. Now, I always use my Kabuki brush from MAC, which is a 182 just to blend out any blush. Don't want those hard lines. And I probably could do a little bit more, but I think I'm just going to do a lip pencil now and I'm gonna use MAC sore for that. That's sore like a bird, not like sore you hit my arm. I don't tend to go out to the corners of my lips uh, anymore because, um, you know, at a certain time in your life, it, the mouth can start to kind of pull down. And when you put your lipstick or liner out to the very edges, it can emphasize that. So I always just kind of finish short of the actual lip, not that, I think I'm at that stage of life yet, but it's just a, a habit that I got into. I might change this lipstick later because I'll see how it goes, but this is a, a Revlon Color Burst in Vivacious and it's quite a strong pop of pink. So I'm just gonna dab that on, not all over, not like full on. I just wanna, uh, want a hint of it. Okie dokie, clearly my hair needs doing as well. 
because it's just wild. But more or less, I think we're pretty much there. I might put a little bit of white on the inside of my eye actually. This is a really old, I don't even know what brand this is because it's so, I think it's Benefit anyway. But it's down to a little stub. I'm just gonna brighten up the eye. That tends to fade away a little bit over time. So while it might look a little bit harsh right now, it'll be okay. And last of all, I'm gonna set my makeup with MAC Prep and Prime. It always feels so nice. And there we have it, a cool makeup look for those of you who have cool undertones. So it's always good to know your undertones when you're buying makeup or doing anything really. Um, it is. It just makes things feel and look so much better um, and everything makes sense. I'm wearing a cool collar, I've got my cool makeup on, I'm cool, my mom says I'm cool. <laughs> Only joking, um, she never says that. That's it for today's video, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next week. Take care, bye.